Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the new method of losing weight um, and how it is different to the old method now that we're over 40. Um, and a lot of ladies do come to me and say, what's happening? I can't lose weight now I'm over 40. Some things are happening. I, you know, I used to be able to diet, go to slimming clubs, it always worked. So I'm just going to explain all other elements that you need now. It's not just a case of calories in and calories out. So here's a model of the old method of losing weight. And as you know, I did run a slimming, slimming club, Rosemary Connie Diet and Fitness Clubs, for 15 years. So I had loads and loads and loads of experience of this. And we gave everyone a calorie allowance and then we told them to move a lot more. Um, and movement in, in was exercise sessions, uh, making sure that we worked to 80, 75 to 80% of our maximum heart rate. You know, go for it, go mental with the exercise, move more, eat less. That was the method and that was the message. Now, people did initially lose weight on this and it worked really well. Um, but the problems came when people couldn't A, sustain the amount of exercise that they were doing on a weekly basis and B, they started to get hungry because basically they weren't eating enough to sustain that energy output and therefore what we found was people were losing muscle mass rather than fat mass which is not what we want at all. We want to keep your muscle mass there, especially now we're over 40. We need to keep that structure of the body to keep the metabolic rate high. So by doing this, by losing the muscle mass and, and keeping the fat mass, uh, yes, on the scales it showed they lost weight, but they didn't really have a great toned body either. Um, and also their metabolic rate would drop right down and so their body wasn't burning as much fuel when it's asleep, which is what we always aim for. People also became very despondent because they were starving and then they ate again and then they gained all the weight. So it, this method was uh, worked initially but was never sustainable. Now, I'm going to uh, teach you the new method from the one that I teach all of my ladies now that were over 40. And as you can see, there's four more elements here. There's four elements and then the four M's. And the bottom one is the one that's most important up to the top one, which is the least important. So the most important thing here is stress management. And as we've got to over 40, we found that the cortisol level is really elevated due to the fact that the other hormones, progesterone, uh, the sex hormones, progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, are very um, erratic. Uh, some might be higher than others in different days. All sorts of things are happening. So the stress hormone cortisol, it really needs to be managed. And this should be the first port of call to reduce that stress. It is the major player here. So what do we need to do? We need to do some rest-based exercises, what I call them. And these are fab things. You're going to love this because it's things like having a massage. It's things like mindful meditation. It's yoga and Pilates and really breathing and, and going for facials and having a nice chat with your friend. And I ask my ladies, to do this on a weekly basis if possible and also be mindful of how they feel in themselves if they're stressed are they stressed what's the life like do a little bit of life laundry kick some stuff out that you don't really need in your life you know we need to look after our health at this point so that's a really major player here there's lots and lots to say about this and we will be in our group doing lots of mindful meditations starting soon now, the next most important thing is the movement. Now, movement is in place of, not in place of exercise sessions, but as an addition to exercise, we need to be moving on a daily basis. So this is like walking, purposeful walking. Just Well, you don't really, really need to do power walking. You can do leisure walking. Um, you can do, um, you know, moving around the house. And as they're saying at the moment, that sitting is the new smoking and it's going to be highly detrimental to our health in the years to come unless we address this now. So say, for instance, you spend quite a lot of time sitting at work at a desk, try and um, set an alarm uh, for every 20 minutes, at least get to stand up, move around a little bit. 
at lunchtime go for a walk and a chat with a friend maybe um, and just keep moving housework's really good gardening anything like that keep the body moving because this is going to enhance the calorie burn which your body needs you know in this day and age we really have got sedentary lifestyles and we need to move more think about the time that you spend watching the tv or on your laptop or scrolling through the, through the phone so what we need to aim for is a 10,000 steps if we can every single day um, and that will really start to focus your mind a little bit more on the movement. Now the next important thing is your meals. So obviously food does play a big, a big portion but not as much as movement or mindfulness. So just be aware of that. And your meals need to be things that are going to be high in nutrition. So they're going to satisfy you. Uh, they're going to give you lots of satiety so you're going to feel fuller for longer and the calories are going to be lower and the reason why the calories are lower because the food is filling and satisfying you're going to eat less of it anyway because you're not going to feel like you're craving sugar and you're going to be eating enough to sustain your metabolism for the movement and the metabolic exercise that you're going to be doing as well and this is a crucial again very crucial in the 40 plus woman uh, that we actually have the nutrients that are going to flourish and make our bodies feel great and that's a key thing when we our hormones are all array now the top thing which isn't as important as it used to be as you can see you know we used to say exercise loads and eat less but no actually this is a small part of your daily uh, expenditure of, of calories really but it still is important for we will need to keep our metabolic rate nice and high and the rate, way to do that is by two types of exercise and one is HIT, that's high intensity interval training or it, otherwise known as short burst training so for instance I do a lot of this in my classes with my ladies we do 30 seconds on and a 10 second rest and we go as hard as we can in that 30 seconds but the whole workout might only be either 8 to 15 minutes long maximum so the good, the good thing about is this is you can actually do uh, it and fit it into your day really easily so we recommend doing short burst exercise of between three and four times a week if possible and then the other really major one is the weight weight bearing exercise so this is things like weights it's things like kettlebells it's like uh, strong yoga it's pilates it's uh, toning classes um, anything like that can really help your muscles to stay awake really so it keeps the metabolic rate high within those muscles so that you're actually burning fat whilst you're asleep this is really crucial here so it's you're making your um, body like an energy burner it's really a fat burner rather than a fat storer we're creating this energy burn within those muscles which is crucial again for us other for uh, us 40 plus women because we are getting older our metabolic rate is generally slowing down so we need to keep it as high as possible and also it's nice to keep the body toned and for vanity reasons we want to look nice and toned so there you can see there's the four M's in order of importance and this is the way all of that put together all four we need to do all four in those levels then you'll find that your body will lose body fat but not just lose it now it's going to lose it forever and this is a plan for life and not just a diet.